This video is about solving a system of equations and summarizing the meaning. So in number one, we have Harry the hippo collected change from the bottom of a pond, but he only kept quarters and nickels. If he collected 100 coins and has $17.40, how many of each coin does he have? So when we look at this problem, we are trying to figure out how many quarters and dimes he has. So our variables, or sorry, quarters and nickels. So N is going to be for nickels, and Q is going to be for quarters. So we know that he has 100 coins, so the number of nickels plus the number of coin, or quarters equals 100. Then we know that he has $17.40. So we want to equal $17.40. So we need to include the value of each type of coin. So a nickel is 5 cents, so 0.05N. A quarter is 25 cents, so 0.25Q. Now we can use elimination to get rid of a variable. So I want to get rid of the N. So what cancels out with 0 0.05 would be negative 0 0.05. So we can distribute that to all three terms. Negative 0.05N minus 0.05Q equals negative 5, and then we have 0.5N plus 0.25Q equals 1740. Now, the when we add straight down, the N's cancel, and we're left with 0.20Q is equal to 1240. We can divide by 0.20. and we get quarters for 62. So now we can take that 62 and we can substitute in for the Q. I'm gonna use the first equation so I can avoid the decimals. So we have N plus 62 equals 100. We can subtract 62 from both sides. So we get N is 38. So our ordered pair here is going to be 38 comma 62. So Harry collected 38 nickels and 62 quarters. In number two, Jeremy just raided his piggy bank and counted all the pennies and dimes. He counted 400 coins that totaled $8.50. How many of each coin does Jeremy have? So the two coins that he is collecting here are D for dimes and P for pennies. So we know that he collected 400 coins, so we're going to add D plus P equals 400. And he has $8.50, so we're going to include our values with each of those. So we have 0.10D plus 0.01P. So to eliminate a variable, I want to eliminate the P in this case. So to cancel out with 0 0.01, we need negative 0 0.01. So negative 0 0.01D minus 0 0.01P equals negative 4. And then we have 0.10D plus 0 0.01P equals 850. So when we add straight down, the P's cancel. 0.09D is equal to 450. When we divide by 0 0.09, we get D is equal to 50. So once we know we have 50 dimes, we can take 50 and substitute in. 50 plus P equals 400. When we subtract the 50, we get P equals 350. So our ordered pair is going to be 50 comma 350. Jeremy has 50 dimes and 350 pennies. In number three, Alexa is checking her piggy bank and counting all the pennies and nickels. She counts 301 coins that total $5.69. How many of each coin does Alexa have? So the two types that Alexa is collecting here is going to be N for nickels and P for pennies. 
She has 301 coins, so N plus P equals 301, and they equal a total of $5.69, so a nickel is 0 0.05N plus 0 0.01P. So in order to solve this to eliminate, I'm going to multiply by negative 0 0.01 to cancel out my P's. So negative 0.01N minus 0.01P equals negative 301. And then I have 0.5N plus 0.01P equals $5.69. When we add straight down, we get the P's to cancel out, 0.04N is equal to 2.68. When we divide by 0 0.04, we get 67. So we know that we have 67 nickels, and we need to figure out how many pennies. So 67 plus P equals 301. We can subtract 67. From both sides, and we get P is equal to 234. So we have 67, 234. So Alexa has 67 nickels and 234 pennies. In number four, two families go to Maggiano's for dinner. The Turner family spent $48 on one lasagna and two chicken Parmesan meals. The Acosta family spent $81 on two lasagnas and three Parmesan chicken meals. How, many, how much does each lasagna and chicken Parmesan cost? So our two variables here, we have C for cost of chicken parm. and L for the cost of lasagna. So each family bought a certain number of items. So the Turner family spent $48. They bought one lasagna and two chicken par meals. The Acosta family spent $81. They bought two lasagnas and three chicken parms. So in order to solve this, I'm going to use elimination. So I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2 and the second, or the first equation by negative 2. And I won't have to multiply the second equation, so I can cancel out the L's. So I get negative 2L minus 4C equals negative 96. And I get negative, or I get 2L plus 4, plus 3C equals 81. So when we add straight down, the L's cancel. And we're left with negative 1C equals negative 15. We divide by negative 1. C is 15. Then we can substitute that back in. So we have 1L plus 2 times 15 equals 48. 1L plus 30 equals 48. We can subtract 30 from both sides. And we get L is equal to 18. So our ordered pair here is going to be 15 comma 18. So the chicken parm costs $15 and lasagna costs $18. In number five, the sum of two numbers is 150. The larger number is 12 more than twice the smaller number. What are the two numbers? So our variables here are L for large number and S for small number. So the sum of two numbers is 150. That means it equals 150. L plus S equals 150. Then we have the large number is, so L equals 12 more than twice the smaller number. So 2s plus 12. In this case, we are set up to do substitution because there's a variable by itself. So we can box what L is equal to and put it in for L. 2s plus 12 plus s equals 150. So we get 2s plus 12 plus s equals 150. We can combine the s's 
So we get 3s plus 12 equals 150. We can subtract 12 from both sides. 3s equals 138. When we divide by 3, s is 46. And then we can substitute in to get our large number. So L plus 46 equals 150. We can subtract 46 from both sides. So L equals 104. So our ordered pair then is going to be 104 comma 46. The large number is 104. And small number is 46.